You know what? That seems good. I'll do that. Yeah, they can just hang out at the temple. Oh, temple of the Good Hunt. Uh, is that how I want to set this up? Twenty AC, oh, switch them around. Oh, so, yeah, this should be pretty good. Okay. Or oh, hold on. So. Mobilization is done. Okay, relic, <coughs> relics we can start taking care of. Uh, we need to work on this stick, that's for certain. Also need to work on some combat stuff. Oh, defense. Investigate the stolen souls. Sila reports the... Uh, oh, Sila's stuff. Okay, well, we will do that when we get back. Okay, diplomacy's maxed out. We don't need to do that. Leadership is just about there. Eh, yeah, sure. It might increase my leadership a bit. Reminds me. That's a black race, so I don't worry about that. Look at the dope. I have no idea what you actually do, so. Yeah. That reminds me. Didn't I get a new. Yes, I did. And I gave Sozio the ability to use it. Compared to this weapon, it does not so much stuff. So, yoink. Do what? Oh, okay. So it technically actually does, it will be doing more damage. Than, mostly because most of the stuff that he does do. Um, well, we, I mean, the most of the stuff we do fight.
actually is chaotic. So, yeah. Because, yeah, uh, it becomes a, uh, infused with the lawful power. It makes the weapon a lot, a lot aligned. And thus bypasses the corresponding damage reduction. It deals an extra 2d6 points of damage against chaotic creatures. Yep. Interesting, must be a new thing. But you're a seven, even if you, even only with the Azadas. Oh, damn. Damn. Do do do. Definitely need to work on more logistics. I think there was like a. I think, if I recall. There was another building or two that could We did this Or no, maybe it's not this stuff Oh wait, yes it is Oh, we get one more building. Okay. But that's essentially the last thing we do. Okay. Makes me wonder if I should could have actually built this like right here. Oh well. Ooh, wrong one. As I went to go as I was taking that sip, my chest just popped. Guy. Let's see what he's got. All right, show me where's. Yeah. 
Nothing I cared for. Uh, definitely going back and forth. I was like, oh, I want. He's probably got some good stuff. I know he definitely had good stuff in the beginning. Oh, sorry. <sighs> Yawning while trying to talk is a bit weird. Oh, we'll rest here. Obviously, we want you here. You. Huh? Well, no one really. I guess she's just along for the ride. Going. I saw a knight, a young woman, younger than me, but gray haired with a fixed gaze and I realized she's not going to return from this war even if she survives neither are we Socile not you not me but at least we'll be able to put an end to this war so no one else will have to go through this Okay, sorry about that. Okay. So we know what's coming up with uh, her. This fight was rough. Part of that, this, 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 uh, this, the fight in this city was pretty rough at the beginning, especially with my characters. Like, I, I'm doing stuff. Not even Ivu come not even Ivu. Oh, Ivu is coming with us. Haha. Identify the boots, huh? Oh, well, bad day. to go. Oh, wow. <laughs> Kamalia basically made the perception check on herself. I am 
helpful, am I not? Damn, girl. Now, welcome to my room for my friend. I was about to apologize for the mess, but it appears the servants were awarded to clean this room. Bars on the windows are always here. This room looks too big for a child. Never thought about it. This bed was mine from the very beginning. There are so many books in here. I have to, have to look and lock on the door. Still not able to identify yet. Follow my lead. This is going to be awkward as an Azada. To ask you one question if you don't mind. Better than anyone else in the world, tell me what do you think of Horgus as a father? Uh, despite it, uh, he's not the best, but he's not the worst. Why are you asking? Huh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh God. All right. Hello, Camellius. I finally came. Uh, Papa, you stink. I believe you will forgive me this weakness under the circumstances. And if you don't, you can always leave. I won't stop you. Hogers, were you expecting us? Not you. I was expecting. Although I thought you might. I put in an appearance. No, I was waiting Kamalia. What did you do after I left for the abyss? I left Dresden as soon as I, I I left Dresden as soon as the queen took hold of the reins of government. Of course, I highly respect her geography, but it's, you I had followed in the crusade. As you were this for me, all along I have no idea what kind of spirit. Oh my guards. Off them, tied them up, and tossed them in the cellar. Yeah, you know, why did you cover up the murders? As uh, the honor of the squirm, a true daughter, my blood, though I may have concealed the fact from that fact from society. Yes, she is special, unusual, very sensitive to the world around her. Whose fault is it that the damned spirits drove her insane? I know nothing about the spirits. I have never talked to them myself, but Kamalia, she is naturally gifted. She understands them. She says we have a chance to learn how to close the world wound once and for all. This end justifies all means, doesn't it? Ooh. Is it obvious she has finally come to take my life. I've been waiting for this moment since the day it all began. I knew it would come. Of course, I had hoped for Kamalia. I hoped that Kamalia would placate her spirit somehow. Perhaps that the commander would close the world wound and put an end to all of these sacrifices, but it's too late for that now. I'm ready to die. My whole life is a lie. It does not even feel like mine with someone else's. Yeah. Avrasha saw how you killed that pup in the garden. She started to worry about you. She who insisted on the doctors and psychics and the exorcists. Yeah. You killed Kamalia's mother? Yeah. Right.
Say nothing. Uh, secret for... Um, okay, so basically we ended up killing Kamalia uh, before she killed Horgus. Okay, so a secret for a secret Horgus. I have dreamed of doing this for a long time. I've dreamed this without even realizing it was my heart's desire. You were always near my protector and patron. How could I even entertain the thought of killing you? But mm, forbidden fruit is so much sweeter. Involuntary moan bursts from his lips. His foul breath hits Kamalia's face, but she doesn't even wince. Her eyes drink in every grimace. Can you feel that pain? Just one little stab and your life starts to bleed out. My stiletto has pierced your heart. Now it withers and paled like a butterfly. <laughs> Don't you have anything to say, or do you think you can maintain some dignity even at the very end? You think you have it on in you? You're garbage. Get out of my life. Die. Die once and for all, Horvitz Worm. <laughs> Damn, he's just not going down. It's all over now. I have rid myself of my past. I suppose I should feel happy. Why then do I feel so tired? It was all over too quickly. Don't you agree, my friend? As if something was missing. It's like having sex without climaxing. And the end result is not... But it's Exhaustion. Perhaps it is because Horgus did not try to resist. Anyway, it doesn't matter now. Let's have some more fun, shall we? Why didn't you tell me Horgus was uh, Horgus would be waiting? I just didn't. Perhaps I wanted to surprise you. So, are you ready to talk to Myra now? No, not quite yet. But I don't worry. I shall be ready to do just one last step, one final, one final job. Boost never before to celebrate the old operation. Kamalia, stop, you've killed enough. Ah. Uh. Let's just so let's just simple. I don't have to keep I suppose we are done here. We certainly had a good time, didn't we? Did you like it, my friend? It was a little different from my usual sacrifices to Morea, but mass murder does have its own appeal. <laughs> It's wild, primordial, unbridled. You felt it too, didn't you? The exhilaration. You know, I suppose you deserve a confession. I have never said anything like this to anyone before. Are you ready? Steal yourself. You are the best friend I could ever hope to have. You understand me. You help me. You are... The best thing that has happened to me in my entire life. I'm glad you think so too. You know, now that we're so close, I wish to confess something else to you. Are you ready? There is no Maria. I made her up. Why? Isn't it obvious? To have a reasonable explanation for all the murders. So that my protector would be too busy thinking of our bright future to lecture me on morality and decency. Ah. <laughs> oh man, there were so many times where I actually just wanted to kill her outright there and then. In my first playthrough, and in this playthrough, it was just like... Chaos and chaos, let's do this. I like to kill. I don't simply want it. I need it. It is something deep within me. My desire is like an annoying fly buzzing around a room. 
one that cannot be seen or swatted away. But the deaths of enemies on the battlefield don't bring me any relief. It comes only with the deaths of those who considered me a friend. The deaths must be unexpected, so that I can see the disbelief and dread in my victims' eyes. But I am a clever girl. I know that society would never condone my unconventional desires. So I invented a nice story that I could feed to those who would protect me from society. As you may have noticed, my lie has worked remarkably well. I, I suspected that you were lying to me. Did you? You hid your true thoughts from me very well. You are an excellent liar. Perhaps even better than I am. My sincerest congratulations. So when you asked me to come here today so you could talk to Myra, that was a of lie? Of course it was. After you and I visited the brothel in Alishanira, I felt an unexpected and overwhelming desire to see my dear sweet papa. So as soon as we returned to Dresden, I made some inquiries and learned that he had moved to Nerosian. I sent him a letter inviting him to meet me at his mansion in Canabras, and that's when I asked you to accompany me. I decided it would be best not to disclose the true purpose of our visit to you. If you had known that Horgus would be waiting for us here, you might have discerned my intentions. Why have you decided to tell me all this now? Ah, that's a good question. You would have learned the truth sooner or later, you know. I've told you too many stories about Morea. You know. You never would have let the matter lie. Of course, I could have left. Fled in the dead of night, leaving you a farewell note. But... I like traveling with you, my friend. I like feeling the power you've shared with me. That is why I decided to take the risk and open up to you. Where do you draw your power from then? I draw it from the spirits. Just like all shamans do. Spirits surround us. They are everywhere. Even within the world wound. Only they never beg me to save them or try to tell me how to heal Sakoris. To be honest, I couldn't care less about Sakoris, the world wound, or the crusade. My sphere of interest lies elsewhere. And uh, is right behind your amulet? This? Once a snake crawled into our garden. I killed it, gutted it, dried out its bones. And then I told Horgus about Morea and asked him to decorate the amulet with gold and make it into a necklace. Despite its mundane origins, it is now imbued with magic that hides me from the prying eyes of Iomade's paladins and inquisitors. Daddy Dearest was quite insistent on that point. Clearly, he feared that if I were ever caught, I would reveal all the dirty secrets of the Gworms to the world. But now that I'm with you, I have no need of this amulet anymore. Do I? No one would dare lay a finger on a companion of the Crusade Commander. I've heard Is the interrogation over? Good. I was beginning to feel rather bored. So, what is your verdict, my friend? I'll accept you as you are because that's what friends do. Thank you for hearing me out, for understanding and accepting me. I must confess, I was a little worried about how this conversation would go. I have no more secrets from you, I promise. Provided, of course, that you can still believe my promises. <sighs> Ivu, no words. No words on that matter, Ivu. Oh boy.